Good morning to all. I am Johan Sir Konikira from class 10. Oh God, source of all wisdom, enlighten our minds and strengthen our will so that we may do what is right and pleasing in your sight. Heal those who are sick with the coronavirus. May they regain their strength and health through quality medical care. We pray that our school be a place for creativity, discovery and adventure. May this be a place to learn and to share God's blessings. Guide us and lead us to grow in your wisdom. Thank you Lord for your love and care. Amen. Good morning. Today's thought. If a drop of water falls in a lake, there is no identity. But if it falls on a leaf, it shines. So choose the best place where your ability shines. Our destiny is not created by the shoes we wear, but by the steps we take. I repeat, if a drop of water falls in a lake, there is no identity. But if it falls on a leaf, it shines. So choose the best place where your ability shines. Our destiny is not created by the shoes we wear, but by the steps we take. Thank you and have a blessed day. Good morning everyone. My name is Aksa Ranjit. I'm studying in grade 10A. Today's news, the headlines. State news. In two days, Kerala sees 136 positive cases and 129 recoveries. Tirundupura. During the past two days, Kerala witnessed 129 recoveries with 73 testing negative on Monday and 56 more earlier on Sunday. National news. Pakistan releases Indian officials but claims they had fake currency on them. New Delhi. Two staff of the Indian High Commission in Islamabad while out on official work in the Indian missions car were abducted by Pakistan agencies early morning on Monday. After they were interrogated for several hours, reports emerged from Islamabad claiming they had been arrested for a road accident by the police. International News Z's fortress against pandemic cracks on as Beijing cluster grows. A section of Beijing was locked down on Monday as the government rushed to contain a new coronavirus outbreak, an unnerving breach in the capital, which President Xi Jinping had said should be a fortress against the pandemic. And in sports, Pierre Emmerich, very happy at Arsenal, says Michael Arteta. Michael Arteta said that Pierre Emmerich needs to feel that staying at Arsenal is a right next step in his career. That's all for today's news. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning to all. I'm Jessica Maliker of Grade 9 and I'm here to speak a few words about child labor. Children are the wealth of the nation. They are the physicians of tomorrow. It is their who are going to control and rule the nation in all spheres of its activity. So, the prosperity, well-being, socio-economic progress of the country greatly depends on how children are water. But in the case of India, the well-being of the children is far from satisfactory. Even though the country is in its 21st century, thousands of children still spoil their future in unhygienic factories and hotels and in other social and social activities. Child labor is a major evil in industrialization and urbanization. India has a vast population but not enough employment. Unemployment is acute among youth. Even though child labor is practiced by exploiters all over the nation. There are three main reasons behind child labor. The first reason is poor family background. Poor parents think that the number of children in their family, the more income for the family. Instead of sending their children to school, they send their children to work and spoil their children's career. Second main reason is illiteracy. Illiterate parents do not know that they are spoiling their children's future by sending them to work. The third main reason is cheapness and availability. Employees pay only very little wages to children and thus become rich by clever exploitation. One can see a number of children from the age group of 5 to 10 working in factories, hotels, cracker making companies, matchbox making companies, presses in Sivagarasi, Tamil Nadu. They are only paid from rupees 2 to rupees 5 for a day's work. Thus, they spoil their health and future in unhygienic and dangerous conditions. Child labor is a major evil in our nation. Our government has raised its voice against child labor. There are many laws 
that prevent child labor. However, these laws are not implemented properly. Until effective measures are taken, child labor will still continue in your nation. Thank you.